as you go throughout a year or even enter a new year, you're going to be coming to a time where you're going to want to update your old blog content. And especially as we enter into the new years recording this video, I get asked all the time about how to update blog content. So in this video, I'm going to tell you the four ways that you can identify blogs that you need to update and the four ways that you can actually update those blogs so they rank higher up on Google. So stick around because there's going to be lots of screen sharing and I'm going to reveal the tools that I'm using in order to dominate search engines in 2024. Getting straight into it, the four ways that you can follow in order to pick and find blog content on your website in order to update are as follows. First of all, and this one is probably the most obvious, but it's actually updating out of date blog content. You've probably written articles throughout the year, maybe even the year before that, that is now out of date. You need to make sure you go and update that blog content so that it's got the most relevant content because Google notices that and you will rank higher as a result when Google sees that you're updating it. The second way that you can pick content that needs to be updated and improved is actually dated content. If you've got articles on your website like the Ultimate 2023 guide, maybe even the Ultimate 2022 or before guides, then you need to make sure that you update that content going into the new year to make sure that it's new, fresh, and people are actually gonna click on it, as well as Google ranking it. Now, when it actually comes to finding that content that is out of date on your website, what I want you to do is download a tool called Screaming Frog. Now, it looks quite technical and scary, but I promise you it isn't. It's just a technical SEO tool where you can put in your URL of your website. It's gonna go through all of your pages, list out all of the titles, it's going to list out all the meta titles as well. It's super easy, as you can see. Here's the meta descriptions. And what that essentially allows me to do very easily as I go into 2024, identify the articles on my website that are out of date. For example, seven expert Squarespace design tips to stand out in 2024. Naturally, as I go into the new year, I need to make sure I update that content. So if you actually want to find the content that you need to update on your site due to the dates, Use Screaming Frog, go through all the titles, go through the meta descriptions, and that will easily enable you to find out those articles that need their dates to be updated. Now, of course, you may not just be watching this video when it comes to the new year. You may be watching it at any point through the year, and there might be many number of reasons why you need to update the content. And the third reason is due to dropped rankings now as competitors start investing into seo over the years maybe your website start to build up some technical debt your rankings might reduce and that's going to help you identify articles that need to be updated and how i actually do that is go over to google search console and on google search console i will go to compare last six months or compare last three months to the previous period press apply and what this is going to do on google search console it's for all the terms that you rank for organically on Google, going to compare the selected date range to the previous date range. And what that allows you to do is find any search terms that you've got less clicks for in the most recent period compared to the last period. And all you need to do is go down, clicks difference until you can see minus. And as you can see in the last six months, I've got 37 less clicks for this keyword in the previous month. So as you can tell, I've lost rankings. I can even then change it to compare for the past three months and do for the exact same and see which terms I've lost rankings for, which then also helps me understand whether I've dropped rankings on any articles that need to be updated. So as you can see here, similar to when I looked at the last six months, this term annual income owning storage units has dropped rankings. All I need to do is select on that keyword, which I've lost rankings for. Console is going to filter for that keyword. I can then go across the pages and that's gonna allow me to see the blog that is ranking for that keyword. There's ultimately lost rankings that I then need to improve. So as you can see here, this is the blog. So that allows me to easily find blogs that need to be updated because they've lost clicks for keywords, need to be updated because competitors are probably now ranking above me. And now the fourth way that you can identify blogs that need to be updated, whether it's at the start of the new year, throughout the year, is just pages that all rounds have bad SEO. 
If you find pages on your site that have got bad SEO, all you need to do is use an SEO tool that allows you to get an SEO score, improve your SEO score to follow best practices and go from there. And as I said, I'm gonna take you through in the second part of the video, exactly how to do these things in order to update your blog posts, rank higher on Google and build momentum for your SEO efforts. Now, of course, for one and two articles that are either out of date or the date needs to be changed, this is fairly simple because literally all you need to do is go in change the dates update the content to make sure it's relevant change the posting date so google can actually see it's been updated so maybe you posted it i don't know 30th of january 2022 and you actually update it on the 1st of march 2023 make sure update that content change the posting date because google is not only going to see that the content has been updated when you request indexing using Google Search Console, but it's also going to see that the date has been changed, which is going to let Google know that the content has been updated, it's more fresh, and hopefully you'll be on your way to rank higher and get more visitors. But moving on to the final two ones, how to actually improve pages that have got dropped rankings and how to improve the SEO on blogs specifically. I'm gonna walk you through now some processes that I follow that I'm gonna be doing on my own website, SEO space, the SEO plugin for Squarespace in order to maximize the amount of clicks that we get in 2024. So make sure you copy these processes because I'm literally gonna be using them in order to dominate my space this year. So I'm gonna be holding nothing back. And because earlier in the video, we already identified that this blog is a page that has lost rankings, what I'm actually gonna do is focus on this blog. I'm gonna focus on this one because this is one of the main ones that I want to update because I can clearly see that it's lost rankings. And the tip that I'm gonna show you today is one of the ways where you can attach some real low hanging fruit. And as you update your blog post, you find some of the easiest ways in order to get more visitors to your website. And again, it's going to be using Google Search Console this time. I want you to go on search results, click on new page, and then I want you to add the page that you're going to update. And now what this is going to do, it's going to show me all of the clicks, impressions, and search terms that this blog has got found for in the past three months. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to make sure the average position is selected. I'm going to go down and I'm going to sort by position. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go all the way to find the keywords that rank between positions four and 10. And what that actually means, because the positions four to 10, those keywords are ranking on page one of Google. However, they're not in the top three and the top three on search engines get most of the clicks. So if I can improve these articles on my website to rank higher for the keywords that are currently positions four to 10, these are low hanging fruit that I can easily grab in order to move the needle for my business. And what I would do here, as you can see, there's some keywords that aren't relevant at all. However, what I can easily do is just go through select the keywords that do matter to me and I do want to rank higher and build it into my brief where I'm gonna mention these keywords need to be mentioned more frequently. Now, of course, if there's also search terms that you've identified that you've lost clicks for more drastically, not that you're ranking just for positions four to 10, because most likely all you need to do in order to rank higher for those is increase the frequency that those keywords are mentioned. But for these keywords where you've actually lost rankings, what you're actually going to want to do when you have an article brief and you're deciding how to update your content, what I'm going to want you to do is install a plugin called Keywords Everywhere. And all this plugin does, it's going to give me metrics about a keyword, any keyword that I search into search engines. This is actually my client. And as you can see, it's giving me their domain authority and their domain authority is a score that deems how much an authority the websites are. Now, if I can find a website that's ranking on page one that has a lower domain authority, then I can naturally assume that if it's ranking on page one and has a lower domain authority, it must have really good on-page SEO, i.e. its content is really, really good. So what I can do, I can just scroll down and I can see that this article that ranks on page one, that has a score of 24. Now, what I would do in the content brief for updating this article that's lost clicks, I would make sure that I include articles that have got a lower domain authority because as I said, they must have good 
on-page SEO. And I know this might be quite technical for some people that are listening, but I do promise you, if you're updating content, it's worth making sure that you're really looking into the data so you can figure out why they lost clicks, what pages are ranking on page one that are getting clicks, and what do they do that I don't do that might influence why they're ranking higher up on search engines. So just to recap, so far we've given you three ways to update your blog content. First of all, it's finding articles that have dates that need to be updated. Then it's finding articles that actually need to be updated because they have outdated content. Then you want to find articles that have dropped rankings or lost clicks over the past six months compared to the previous six months. You want to find those keywords that have dropped using Google Search Console, as well as identify keywords that are ranking positions four to 10. Then you want to update that article, including those keywords more, and looking at what is already ranking on page one, either above you, or that are pages that have a lower domain authority than you, because you have to assume that they have good SEO because their domain authority isn't as high. So as you can see, that allows you to start to build together a brief, whether you're doing the updates yourself or you're hiring someone to do them for you. And fourth and finally, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you the tools that I'm using in order to take my SEO game to the next level. And the first one is SEO space. It's an SEO plugin for Squarespace. And it's actually the only SEO tool that's been designed for Squarespace. I'm actually the founder, so of course I am biased. But what I'm gonna be doing on all of my websites that are built on Squarespace, I'm gonna be going through and I'm gonna be doing a site-wide audit. I'm gonna be going through each page, adding a keyword to, in order to improve my SEO score. So for example, for this page, I want it to rank higher for blogging services. I've already done a site audit and I've just pressed view scan to land on this page. All I have to do is add the keyword that I want to rank higher for and SEO space is going to scan this page and give me step-by-step -step recommendations of what to do to improve my rankings on Google. Now, I did actually create this website before SEO space was even made. So I've got a lot of work to do to make sure I'm following best practices. But as you can see here, SEO space is going through giving me the recommendations, which are super easy to follow. So here you are, SEO space is finished, giving me the recommendations, and it's giving me super easy steps in order to follow to rank higher on Google. It's even giving me suggested keywords of what I need to do in order to add keywords to boost up my rankings, as well as also told me if there's any broken links, whether I need to change my meta description, and so on and so forth. So that's how you use SEO space. But now I'm gonna go on to an even more advanced SEO tool, which if you've got the budget of over $200 a month, is really gonna catapult your SEO moving throughout your updates and going into the future. And that is Surf SEO. And Surf SEO is a really, really detailed keyword research, audit, and AI content generation tool. Don't worry, you don't have to use AI content generation. But as you can see here, exact same concept of SEO space. I've added the keyword I want to rank higher for, as well as my page. And what it's done is give me a really detailed breakdown of the SEO scores of the other pages, what I need to change on my page to a really granular detail of literally the keywords that I need to add or remove. So it's done a really detailed NLP analysis. The amount of words that I need to add to the page, as you can see, there's quite a lot of work that I need to do and a step-by-step -step process of what to go through to boost up this page on search engines. So if you are a bit of an SEO nerd like me and you want to attract inbound traffic and customers to your website, then investing in tools like SEO space and even Surfer if you have the budget are fantastic things that you can do in order to really take your blogging to the next level when you're doing those updates. But there you are guys, I've taken you through the four things that you can do when it comes to updating blog content, whether it's at the start of the year or you're doing your SEO efforts throughout the year. And if you would like to see more SEO tips, particularly Squarespace SEO tips, feel free to subscribe to this YouTube channel where I post every single week about SEO tips that you can take and have a massive impact on your business. So thanks again, guys. I'll see you in the next video.